Don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment on this video saying I subscribed. Let's get into it. According to latest media reports, the former chief of the Indian Navy has said that India lacks a national security strategy to deal with emerging security challenges in the wake of the creation of the China-Pakistan axis. He also emphasized the need for strategic autonomy and India's high dependence on imports in the defense sector could prove to be the weakest link. He also said that India needs to focus on industrial and technological development and India cannot continue to neglect the defense forces. According to latest media reports, the naval ships of Russian Federation Navy has arrived in India to participate in the 10th edition of the bilateral maritime exercise with the Indian Navy, which will be conducted till 16th December. The primary aim of the exercise is to increase interoperability amongst the navies of the two countries and to develop common understanding and procedures for maritime security operations. The thrust of exercises would be on anti-submarine operations, surface testings, air defense operations, search and seizure operations and tactical procedures. According to latest media reports, India has requested the Rafale Advanced Defense Systems of Israel to undergo additional testing of spike systems in 2019. The infrared system of Spike has failed to withstand high temperatures in previous rounds of testing, and the Indian military is reportedly concerned about its performance in hot and desert conditions. The Indian and Russian Air Forces have begun a 12-day joint exercise from today, with an aim to enhance their operational coordination. The Russian Air Force will not bring its aircraft, and will take part in the exercise using the Indian platforms. Most of the fighter jets being used by the Indian Air Force is of Russian origin, and both the Air Forces have already achieved significant levels of interoperability. With the active participation of the Indian Air Force, DRDO has developed the Astra Beyond Visual Range System, and integrated it on Su-30 and other air platforms, and Hindustan Aeronautics has been instrumental in the modification of a number of Su-30 aircraft for integration. It is expected to be inducted into the Indian Air Force in 2019, and more than 50 private and public sector industries are involved in the development and production of different subsystems. According to latest reports, the lack of a TGM system on 60 Rudra Mark IV helicopters and few pre-production light combat helicopters is going to change very soon. The Helena system is moving fast towards pre-production stage, and it is likely to get pre-production orders from the Indian Army in early 2019. After the initial pre-production orders, both the Helena and Saint system will enter mass production in 2020. The chairman of ISRO Dr. Keshavan has said that the space agency will be launching the GSAT-7A satellite in the third week of this month, and it is a dedicated communication satellite for the Indian Air Force. Once the satellite is placed in the geostationary orbit, the satellite will enable the Air Force to interlink different ground radar stations, air bases and OACS aircraft, and will boost the Air Force's network-centric capabilities and enhance its global operations. Around 4 lakh employees of ordnance factories have announced to launch an indefinite strike between 23rd to 25th January 2019, against the speedy privatization of the defense sector. The federations had demanded that the 41 ordnance factories be dedicated as national assets and be treated as an integral part of the armed forces. According to latest media reports, India and Japan are moving to share satellite data and surveillance technologies. While the Japanese Aerospace Exploration Agency can share data on troop movements along India's northern border, India will help Japan track naval vessels in the South China and East China Seas. 
In an effort to replace its F-18 Hornets, Australia has taken the delivery of two F-35 stealth fighter jets, and the government will spend a total of $17 billion on 72 F-35 aircraft. Lockheed Martin has said that the cost is expected to be driven down to $80 million per plane by 2020, but the support and maintenance costs are expected to remain high. There are fresh concerns that the aircraft cannot maintain its stealth feature in Australia's harsh climate, and the F-35's radar-absorbing coating is wearing off faster than expected, and the composite material may need to be replaced after every flight. Oh, my God.